This here is a kettlebell warm-up. Kettlebell warm-up that we're going to do is going to start with an around the world, 10 reps in each direction. The focus here is keeping the torso upright and not moving it around too much and keeping the arms long. We're going to go 10 reps in both directions before we do a Russian kettlebell swing for 10 reps. Russian kettlebell swing, we're thinking about keeping the shoulder blades back, having a slight bend in the arm, keeping the bell close to you. Again, we're flexing at the hip and then extending the hip. Uh, third movement is going to be a single arm uh, kettlebell swing. And again, this is going to also be just a Russian style swing. Up to the eyes and then back. 10 reps. Switch hands. We're going to do 10 reps. And then finally, we're going to do individual uh, swings where we're switching hands every rep for 10 reps. So that'll be five and five. Notice that Eric's turning his hand so his thumb's pointed back towards his butt as it swings behind him. Next, we're going to do a kettlebell snatch and we're going to perform 10 on each hand. If that's not possible with the weight the athlete's using, make sure that they lighten up the load. Okay, as we perform this, again, one of the big things that we're going to be looking for the athlete to do is keep the bell close to the body and again, not squat, but send the hips back. Once we're there, next thing we're going to do is a kettlebell front squat. This would be also called a goblet squat. We're going to do this for 10 repetition. It should look just like a standard front squat. Once we complete 10 of those, we're going to do a halo. A halo, we hold the uh, handle up towards our eyes and then turn it over backwards as it goes behind our head. Turn around for us if you would, Eric. Notice that the, the handle is down, uh, but nowhere near his spine or anything like that. He's not going to hurt himself if he were to drop it. Okay, now that's pretty much it and that'll keep you nice and warm. But we're going to add in a little fun thing that you, you can also add uh, if you feel comfortable using your equipment in this way with the flooring that you have. Uh, it's catch and releases. Okay, we're going to start with just a double hand release and then put your hands back on the, the kettlebell. Some athletes will not be ready for this at all. Uh, others will kind of get the hang of it. So you can add another layer of complexity. For the next 10 repetitions, you can do a chest tap as you release the kettlebell. Don't be afraid to drop the kettlebell. That's what they're built for. Now, if they do well with that one, this can be fun. No chest tap. We're just going to flip the kettlebell over and grab the handle. Prepare the athlete to move out of the way and protect their toes as you're performing this. Nice job. Once he has this, then he can do a chest tap with the flip. Look at this. All right. Great. So that's a little bit of fun. You can do the same thing with one hand. Whatever you want to do, the kettlebell juggling can be a lot of fun and can add uh, to the, the fun community aspect of your, of your training session.